been using my oven a lot more so like as y'all know cooking is not my first language and yeah your boy loves a bit of Iceland I can't lie to you babes I see the girlies be cooking for YouTube but guys I burnt my fucking burgers so I made burgers and they were only in for like 20 minutes but this heat this oven yeah i put it on bare high this is the bun up chips that i made <laughs> oh my goodness me i've just come out the shower i've done my laundry and i'm about to record a mix up got it for my main channel my settings on this camera have been looking crazy lately as i told you lot, what somebody said before like I've realized that these cam this camera does not work best with artificial lighting. It works best with natural light. So the reason why I'm in my living room in this corner is because I get the best lighting in here. I've said to myself that I'm not gonna miss any opportunity to upload content. I'm not gonna miss any opportunity to upload topic video content because I have mi I had missed a lot in 2021 due to my depressive state. So I'm going to do my best to stay motivated and never doubt how well a topic may perform. The camera settings is so much better now that I've changed it. So much better. It's amazing what the flick of a button can do. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Whoa, the ring light is rocking. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. So today I'm going to be talking about Molly May again. If you're new to my channel and you do not know who I am, my I don't even think the this this camera is not going to do it justice. But if you guys are watching my main channel with my topic videos, like the quality is just so much better. So yes, cheers to changing the settings, child. If you're wondering, yes, this is a blanket with my face on it. My mum got it for me. I'll never get rid of this blanket. She's a bad guy for getting me this blanket. I, when I upload like topic videos, yeah, especially the ones that are about like something that's currently trending or something that everybody is talking about, I try my best to upload it as soon as possible. Bro, I was editing and eating at the same time. Like my laptop is full of ketchup. I need to wipe my laptop. Oh, I need to get like a a, um, a keypad protector, something that I can just um, nothing gets in the cracks of my keyboard because I'm starting to feel like there's certain buttons I'm pressing and they're not going down. And I'm thinking, what? Well, well, I'm going for that. But yeah, um, my New York trip is fucking being pushed back and being pushed back because every time I want to travel something comes up it's somebody's birthday i need to do something i have something booked already like it's just it's a lot so it's definitely gonna happen obviously the initial plan was to travel for a month i wanted to go for a month but it's just not possible it's actually not possible i have there's too many like commitments i don't really have a break i don't know how to explain it but and also to be away from home and like to be living out of a suitcase for a month, like I don't think I could do it. Like when I actually think about it, I can't do it. Like I'm too, like where, whereas there was a time where I was just working to get by and I could take holiday off from work. For example, when I used to work in retail, I can't do that now because with, with, with content creating, there's something every day. I just want to chill and watch some YouTube. Like literally all I do is watch YouTube videos. Literally all I do. It's, it's my, it's, it's where I get my inspiration from. It was one of the reasons why I decided to make a vlog channel because I've come to the conclusion that everybody has more than one channel. And I was thinking, 
Why the fuck would I not have more than one channel? Like, what is stopping me? My belly feels nice, I've eaten. Food wasn't burnt, and I know I said some of the chips were burnt, but majority of it wasn't burnt, so I ate it. I fancy some, um, I fancy some, what's it called? What do I fancy? I fancy some macaroni and cheese, so that is what we are about to make. Now, I tell you guys all the time, the kitchen is not my, the kitchen is not my first department, but it no matter. You have to make something work. I've watched my family cook macaroni and cheese like all my life, so it can't be too hard. Ordering food from somewhere is great for, for our quickness, but like food don't be hitting the way you want it to hit. And I'm not gonna lie, it's very rare that you go into a Caribbean restaurant and their macaroni and cheese slaps. Even people that claim that they're the baddest cooks in the world, <clears throat> it, the, the macaroni don't ch taste creamy. I don't know how to explain what I mean. But yeah. I feel like most of my vlogs, you guys are just going to be seeing me try out different cooking techniques. If you guys know me, like, I do not go out a lot. Like, going out is one of the last things that you will find me doing. So, while the pasta boils, I am going to season these prawns. I am going to try and make, a, like, a prawn... Like a prawn something, like a prawn, what do you call it, a prawn macaroni. Right now, chicken is not an option. Chicken is too long to cook. I was literally on Twitter and I saw a tweet and it was, it was talking about like people paying their bills. And council tax is one of them bills that I genuinely don't understand what we pay for it for because Bro, the amount of money that people have to pay for council tax, depending on what band they're on. Fam, why? Why, 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 why? Listen, the government's fucked us, bro. But guys, oh my god. Ah! Guys, I'm gonna see you guys when this is done. We did it, guys! We did it! We fucking did it! <laughs> Now let's do a taste test guys. So look the prawn the prawns are in there. I'm in town <laughs> and a few black queens have come Pro. to say hi. Hi. Pro. hi. <laughs> Sorry. Let me get a picture. It's just deep in my bag. Can I take a picture and the snap video? Yeah. Guess good days are local in Manny. Yeah. Pro. Manchester resident. Pro. Two little vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do another one. <laughs> oh, do you want to do another one? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Ew, out there. <laughs> I'm the Central. Do you want one? Are you good? I'm good, thank you. Nice to meet you, lot. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It's a yes. He 
He turned fishermen into fishers of men. All he needs is a yes. That transaction, all they done was said yes. They didn't know everything. But they said yes. You are not too broken for God not to fix you. It comes. Oh, you are not too broken for God to fix you. Hallelujah. So as I said to you, when you die, I'm wrapping up. I want to be a man of time because I'm going to have a moment to start this. And when you die, I say, God, my life is over. She really knows you from secondary school. I've always been a God. Really true. By that moment, I actually felt like separated from Him. But you know the beautiful thing about God is that, and this is one thing I want to tell you this morning, nothing can actually separate you from the love of God. There is nothing that you could do, say, become that can separate you from the eyes of God. Because His eyes, when He sees you, when people see your past, God sees the future that he destined for you. So we say, yo, yo, no, don't listen to them. Focus on my voice. Because I have called you to be in places where you will demonstrate me. You are not too far for God. He is always there. He's omnipresent. What that means is he's everywhere. He's beside you. He's above you. He's when he's everywhere. But I'm here today to tell you that all God needs is your yes. You might have not read your Bible for years. That's fine. But God wants to meet you in the middle. Where he wants to say that, listen, now you try to live life without me. Now try to live life with me. Live it with me. You are not too far from God. So I want to do an altar call. the Spirit of God is leading me here. Now maybe you have heard the message today and maybe you've lost somebody. Maybe you've been through something too dark. Maybe you've been fighting your mind for too long and you're saying, Naji, I want to experience, I want to receive Christ Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. I no longer want to live under the oppression of my mind, but I want to be free. I come here today to give you the word that he is the son of God that whosoever believes in him shall not perish whosoever believes but um it's Maggie's birthday today and listen I don't really need to say much about Maggie and our friendship I'm gonna just put a video here which pretty much sums up Maggie's character what she is as a friend who she is as a friend and a person and yeah L last night was amazing I can't even tell you how emotional I was, and I felt it. I felt it. Like, I felt it. I felt it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. As I told you guys, I'm gonna be more consistent. I'm gonna do my part on this channel to be more consistent. If, if it's not every three days, it will be weekly. So stay tuned for my next vlog.